Hi guys, it's Maddie from Your Yoga with Maddie, and welcome to today's practice. In this sequence, we'll be focusing on joint mobility. It is beginner friendly, and you won't need any props. Don't forget to subscribe to Yoga Village YouTube channel and to like this video to stay up to date with the series. Let's start by finding a comfortable seated position on the mat. Bring your hands to somewhere meaningful. We'll take some deep inhales and exhales for four counts, counting in your head. Bring your mind to the mat and find your breath in this moment. Inhaling new positive energy, exhaling old negative energy. Preparing for this practice a clean, calm mind. Place both hands in prayer in front of your heart, interlace the fingers, extend the palms away from you. Inhale, bring them back. Take a snake motion with your wrists and your hands and reverse it the other way. Hands back in prayer. Push those palms away from you, stretching the fingers and bringing them back. Take the arms above the head, palms to the sky. Exhale, take a side bend. Inhale to the center. Exhale, side bend on the other side. Inhale to the center. Placing the hands behind your head, take the chin to the chest for a stretch at the back of the neck. Inhale, taking the chin to the sky. Leaving the left hand on the head, take it to the left shoulder. Exhale, take it forward, chin, chin to chest. Then repeat on the other side. As you exhale, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Take your shoulders back in a circular motion, warming up our shoulders here, finding space in the joints. And rotate it forward as well. Take some sways side to side, warming up the spine, finding this lateral movement. And then placing the left hand and forearm on the mat, inhale, take the right arm over for a side stretch. Coming forward to center and then rolling up slowly through the middle. And repeat the same on the other side. Pulling with the fingers for that ultimate stretch. Come back sitting tall, hands on knees. Exhale, take the chin to chest. Inhale, through center, exhale, chin back. Just find some circular motions with the neck half circle forward and then find space again in the shoulders releasing any tension you may have okay let's meet in tabletop position wrists under shoulders knees under hips make sure your core is engaged give it a little tap spine long as we inhale we're going to drop on over towards the mat for cow pose exhale push through the shoulder blades for cat Keep this motion, making sure you include your head in the movement and your tailbone, as it's all part of the spine. If you like this time, as you exhale into cat, sit back to your heels in child's pose. Inhale to cow. For this cat, cow, child's flow. And using contact with your forearms on the mat as we transition through child's pose to cow pose. Finding space in your spine as you round it and as you sink it. Coming back to the tabletop position, tuck your toes under and just sink your hips back to your heels for a nice toe stretch. Feel it in the feet as well. Come back to centre. 
making sure that core is engaged. We're going to extend the left leg out behind us, making sure not to arch our lower back. Take the ankle in some circular motions, clockwise and anti-clockwise, keeping the rest of the body still, and then bring that foot over to the side and line with the hip. We'll come up tall and we'll take a side bend, stretching our right side, right arm over. Coming back through centre, we'll place the right hand down on the floor and take the left arm over for an extended gait stretch. Placing hands back on the mat, and we'll just take some circular motions with our hips, bending in the extended knee. And take clockwise and anti-clockwise, just finding the space and the articulation in the knee and the hip joints. Don't forget to push evenly through your palms. And then engaging the core, take the leg back the way it came. Sit back in child's pose, extend the hands forward. A little wiggle in the hips to find that space. Coming back up to tabletop, making sure that core is still engaged. And we take the right leg out behind us this time. Again, making sure we're not arching the back and we're keeping the rest of the body still as we rotate our ankle. Bringing it out to the side, twisting the foot down, in line with the hip, we come up tall and we take our gait side poses. Stretching over to the left, left arm over, back to centre, and taking the right arm over, left hand down, the extended gait stretch pose. Coming back to centre and placing both hands back on the mat, and just take those circular motions, spinning through the knee, finding space in the hips, rotating slightly in the wrists. Then engaging that core, take the leg back the way it came, with control. And then we'll start peeling our hands off the mat, and just stretching our fingers and our wrists. Placing the back of your hand on the mat, fingers pointing towards the other hand. Take some gentle circular motions, warming up the wrists. Then do the same on the other side. With the palms both on the mat, point the fingers towards the knees, and slowly rock forwards and backwards for a gentle forearm and this stretch. Placing them back, tucking the toes under and take your hips up to downward facing dog. Start treading through the feet, stretching the calves and the ankles and the hamstrings. If this feels good, find a little bit more of a twist as you take the knees slightly over to the opposite side as you tread through. Let's take some toe rises, warming up the ankles. And then on the next toe rise, continue this movement, bring, bringing yourself over in a wave form, articulating through the spine into a high plank, bending the knees and pushing the hips back up to the sky in a downward facing dog. Then articulate over, taking your weight through your spine, shoulders slightly over wrists in a high plank, and then slowly back to downward facing dog. Make sure your core is engaged and you're including your head in this movement. Pushing through your palms and your fingertips evenly. We'll take the left leg up to the sky. We'll bend the knee and open the hip, finding space here in this hip opener. We'll rotate the knee, making little circles, if this feels good. Bring the foot in front of your hands, find space here in your low lunge. Find balance and then peel the hand off the mat, taking it up the sky. Rotate the left wrist and then bring it back down on your exhale. Also bring your back knee down, 
Inhale, arms come up above the head, cactus the arms and swing them back down. Focus on linking your breath to movement here as we do this four times. Swinging the arms up, cactus the arms as you exhale. Inhale, swing the arms, cactus the arms as you exhale. Placing both hands back down on the mat, return the foot to join the other in downward facing dog. Then take a flow here, make sure your elbows are kept in. Shoulders away from your ears in upward facing dog and push back to downward facing dog. And we'll take the right leg this time up and we'll bend the knee and open the hip, finding space in this joint. Draw little circles with your knee, engaging your core and then bring that foot in between your hands. Find the space, find the balance, find the stretch in this low lunge. Peel the right hand off the mat, taking up the sky and rotate the wrists. Placing it back down, lowering the knee. Inhale, take the arms up above your head. Exhale, cactus the arms. Swing the arms back down, keeping your balance strong. And repeat this three more times. Making sure your left glute is also engaged. Linking breath to movement. Placing both hands back on the mat. Take the foot back to downward facing dog. We'll take a flow here, coming over high plank, lowering chaturanga, upward facing dog. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Last final stretch here in downward facing dog, and then step the left and the right foot in and find your forward fold. Hang heavy, maybe grab the elbows for some extra weight to release any further tension in the back of your hamstrings, your neck, your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come up above the head, hands to heart center. Exhale deeply. On the next inhale, take the arms up hands to heart center, through to the side, opening the chest to the right before bringing hands back together in prayer. Inhale, arms come up, hands through the center, opening to the left, arms extended, hands back to prayer. Take a moment just to rebalance yourself. Maybe lift all 10 toes and spread them out. Take a deep inhale as the arms come up above the head, exhale, one dive, forward fold. Inhale, Halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair, a nice long line between your fingertips and your tailbone. And then slowly lower yourself all the way to sitting. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out. And take a forward fold here in butterfly pose. Releasing any further tension you may have in your neck. Slowly come sitting tall and then lower yourself onto your back. Take the knees into the chest and rock them side to side or in circular motions for a little bit of a massage. Release the right leg straight in front of you. Keep the left knee into the chest. Option to stay here or take the knee out to the side and use your right arm as stability. Passing it through center, take the left knee with the right hand for a supine spinal twist. Inhale, return to center. Hold the leg behind the thigh and just extend the knee and bend it. Extend the knee and bend it. Just lubricating the knee joint a bit more here. Hug both the knees in and switch legs, keeping the right knee in this time. Finding space in the joint as you rotate it around in circles. And then open the hip, pulling the knee out to the side. Inhale, pass it through center. Exhale, supine spinal twist. Exhale, deep into the stretch. On the next inhale, return to center. Extend the leg and bend. Extend the leg and bend. And breathe into the hamstrings as you feel the stretch. But also bring your focus to the knee joint. Taking both knees in, find a little massage in your lower back as you rock in circular motions, and then take the right ankle onto the left knee. Option to stay here or lift the foot off the mat for a figure of four stretch. 
mind your spine to be long and push with your right elbow into your right knee to deepen the stretch further. Exhale, release. Taking the left ankle onto the right knee, again stay here, or take the right foot off the mat, bring the knee towards the chest, pushing the left knee out with the left elbow. And the next exhale, release, taking the knees to the forehead, and then stretch tall. Fingertips away from the body, toes away from the body. A nice big last stretch, a little wiggle on the joints. Then find a relaxing, comfortable position in Savasana. Maybe hand on heart, hand on belly. And we'll just take those deep inhales and exhales like we did at the beginning of class. Maybe you can notice any different sensations in your body. Just find the calmness in your breath, inhaling for four, exhaling for four. You may stay here as long as you like in Shavasana or slowly make your way back up to seating, bringing your hands to heart center. And I thank you for joining me in this practice today. Have a lovely day. Namaste.